<coughs> morning here from uh, Oregon, Washington. I guess it's July what? Um, July 8th, 2009. A few days ago I said I was going to talk a little bit about 4th of July back in the 50s. And sometimes I can't do these videos because I'm not in the mood for it. But I was just sitting outside and and I got a key word that came to mind for the summers of our youth on 4th of July. And that was cap guns. Remember caps? The cap gun, you always got one in the summer. Buy the little box of caps. About five or six rolls in it for a nickel. Pull them apart. Put one in the gun, string it through, and bang, 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 bang. That's how we made our noisemakers, didn't we? Fourth of July, it was usually caps, and what? What did we get? Fourth of July, sparklers! We'd throw them up in the air, and we'd burn our fingers with them, and make them go round and round, the old metal ones, sparklers, but the caps. Now, the other thing you might not remember from caps back then is how we could really make some noise. We'd take a whole roll, just flatten it down just a little bit and put it on its side. And get a big hammer, a rock. Boom! We thought that was the neatest thing in the world. Made that all that big noise. And of course, then you'd have to unroll it because there was always a few not done and you'd Take a, take a, again, take a rock or a big hammer and make all those go off. And those were our noisemakers back in the 50s. I do remember when I was real young, my, my uncle shooting off some big rockets, and then I think uh, 4th of July fireworks got banned, and um, I don't even remember. Oh, yeah, back at the Audubon Park, uh, back on the, on the river near the high school, I think is where they used to shoot off the fireworks for 4th of July, but... I don't even remember going much. But again, back there in Audubon, New Jersey, the big thing for 4th of July for us was the parade. We had, I think, one of the longest running parades on the East Coast, I think I read years ago. And the neat thing about being, being blah, 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 doing the parade back then is us kids were always in it, either with the Boy Scouts, the Cub Scouts, or Little League. And uh, I remember marching with the Little League, and I remember marching with the Boy Scouts. And I remember particularly one year, because with the Boy Scouts, we were having Klondike, we had to do Klondike Derby in the wintertime, and we had to build um, a Klondike sled, just like the sled dog sleds up there in Alaska. And then we pulled them through the obstacle course down there at Pine Hill and um, did compass things and start. I remember trying to start a fire with sticks and that didn't work and, and all sorts of things. Anyhow, we did that in the, in the bitter cold and then for 4th of July we, I think we had a flatbed truck and kids were dressed up on the, like, like old miners and walk the streets and we had rocks painted like gold to throw out to the crowd. I still have a, I still have one of those. But anyhow, the parade was the mainstay of the day and we would end up back at the high school and usually spend the day at the high school, pie eating contest and three-legged runs and all sorts of things there and try to stay busy for the day and eventually get bored and go do something else. I know my uncle was um, in the Shriners, and he always marched in the parade, and we always went back to Uncle Bill, who was my, actually my great uncle, and if Uncle Bill had invited a little bit by, uh, after parade time, Uncle Bill, Uncle Bill, hey, you got, any, you got any change, Uncle Bill, you got a quarter, and he'd dig down in his pocket some years and pull out a whole pile of change for us kids, and boom, then we had some spending money for the day, otherwise, um, we'd buy our, buy our, um, ice, what was those shaved ice things back at the, the baseball stadium? Ah, oh, baseball! Someday, some we were in Little League, and, some, and one of the big things today is going back and wa watching some of the games. Or if you were lucky enough, um, like me and Marty, we were on a exchange, the minor leagues. You'd have a ball game on Fourth of July and, and get to kill a few hours that way, and get bigger crowds and whatever. But um, um, 
that was uh, Fourth of July during the day. Just very laid back, um, uh, very warm on Fourth of July back in New Jersey. Never had to worry too much about weather. And then as we got older, it was nighttime. Uh, the dances, I think back then they had them on the basketball court at the end of the school there. And it was still the days when you really weren't really hitting on the girls or anything. And I think I don't even remember if we even danced, but uh, maybe that a live band or records, I don't even remember. But I remember some evenings over there at the, at the dance. Um, remember one year up in Haddon Heights, they had a street dance, went to that. But again, I think we were too young. We were milling around, maybe not into girls yet. Um, still those innocent days of our youth, uh, which, as we know now, don't last too long. You've got very few years there where you're really, you know, knowledgeable of what's going on. And, and you lose that innocence and you move on to the next step and you're later teens, middle teens, and of course by the time you're a full-grown teenager you graduated from high school and already off to college. So for you young people out there, enjoy it while you can. Now I had a really nice fireworks uh, fun this year for 4th of July and um, probably always the way it will be for me for now, but in any case, um, that's a little bit about growing up in the 50s, 4th of July, and a couple of the little things we did, and especially kids, remember those cap guns? Bang, 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 bang. Those were fun. Well, this is Gus saying bye now.